PM, you're basically in charge of the whole project. Attention to detail is definitely an essential attribute. Being a people's person, uh, able to relate to people, able to motivate people, and also being a problem solver. So uh, I think these are some of the essential attributes that will contribute towards a good project manager. My name is Sam or Samuel Victor Addo. Um, I, um, I'm a project manager in the IT space, so an IT project manager. I lived in the United States um, for about 35 years and I worked um, in various um, uh, Fortune uh, 500 companies, uh, notably uh, Delta Airlines, Primerica, Specialty Property. So those are some of the uh, companies that I worked at. I started primary school at Achimota Primary in the 60s. My guardian was my uncle, who I lived with um, at the time, whose alma mater was pre-sec. Actually filled out the form and sent it out to back to the school. So he chose pre-sec for me, and I think that was one of the best decisions that he ever made. I was maybe about 11 years old when I entered the school, so I was a kid, and um, I think most kids don't have that sense of purpose. Uh, so I wouldn't say I was aware, I was you know, just goofing around, um, doing things uh, in a hurt fashion. If everybody's doing it, you're doing it too, you have to go to classes. But it was maybe closer to Form 4 after we selected our subjects that I realized that my future depended on me being studious, focusing on my books. Yeah, so I cut out a lot of the play and I, I focused and um, I got grade one um, in science and went back to Presec for sixth form. You wake up in the morning and walk on the campus of Presec and you see your goal physically. You physically see Legon. So that's motivation enough. I mean, if somebody's in Cape Coast, they aspire to come to Legon, they don't see Legon every day. So Legon is an abstraction. Presec because of the Lego proximity, Legon was real. And of course, we went there every weekend and we, we saw how, if you study hard, this is like the, the ultimate goal. I'm currently the uh, president of the Odadie North America chapter. Ever since my student days at Legon, I've been always uh, a lover of Presec. I want to always promote Presec um, because um, I realized that other schools were, or other schools alumni were on Legon campus, were very, very proud of their schools and uh, wanted to always uh, showcase their school and put their school in a good light. I remember during my student days, I, I organized one of the first campus wide uh, Presec meetings on the Legon campus. It was very successful. I even roped in a Brigels. My girlfriend at that time was an alumni of a Brigels, so she managed to bring some of her friends. So it was a very good meeting. The presence of the girls attracted a lot of the preset boys to come to the meeting. It was on top of uh, the bookstore. I uh, made sure that we organized for some of our students to go have uh, study sessions. Uh, chemistry, physics, biology um, with uh, the preset boys. So it went well. I don't know what happened to that effort um, after I left, but that was my starting point of my involvement with always wanting to promote pre-sex. So when I got to the United States, um, I attended a couple of um, alumni balls or alumni uh, parties, uh, get-togethers, fundraisers. Um, some of my friends who went to Achimota, Infancipen, Prempe, they had annual get-togethers. Presec had a critical mass of people in the United States. However, why were we not organizing 
ourselves into a cohesive, formal group and meeting, having get-togethers every year. Reverend Marquis had also just been elected as a global president. So on one of my trips to Ghana, I went to his house and I made mention of this situation that there's so many of the precept people in, in the United States and Canada, yet we don't organize ourselves and meet even if just to party. So Marquis said, okay, Sam, then you go ahead and with my blessing, go form um, a North America or USA chapter of the Odadia organization. So I took that charge and that uh, mandate from Reverend Marquay and got back to the United States. Put together a team, Alex Darko, Eddie Kofi, Nia Dote Brams, um, Kofi Poku, Kofi Dom, a few people who were ma mainly my juniors. And um, met with them, told them about my vision, which is and the rationale for what we're trying to do. Um, we are so many of us, we even have more doctors, more professionals than some of these other schools, but then we don't have a, an association. So we uh, created a couple of flyers. We divide ourselves into um, segments. So you take the Northeast, you take the Southeast, you take Can um, Canada and um, uh, Samado as the president, let's uh, tell people that we're forming this organization and we need them on board. Uh, we created a database, we created a WhatsApp page, and um, so that, that was um, the rallying call um, and the starting point. And then we also uh, had a big fundraiser in Maryland um, where we brought all the uh, people together and it was very, very successful. We decided to uh, merge the setting up of the organization with, or the association with uh, a project that we needed to accomplish. So um, that was uh, the beginning of um, the, the current vibrant Old Boys Association that uh, we have in North America. A singular focus when I came into stewardship was to solve that problem, a precept with the food court, which has been completed, a magnificent facility that food court is going to also serve as um, a formal common room, a campus-wide common room. Reverend Marquay's hardware vision was the physical infrastructure that we needed to refurbish. So um, that mainly has been accomplished. Um, a few of the structures need to be maybe spruced up a little bit so that when you visit the campus as a parent or as a visitor, the place is aesthetically pleasing. Then there's a the software aspect, which is the teachers, the leadership, the discipline. Um, so that um, also has to go hand in hand. And some of the ideas that I'll be pitching to Ernest, uh, the new president, is uh, maybe giving the teachers a reason for them to go above and beyond, um, giving some kind of if a teacher or a group of teachers can make sure their students excel in examinations, then they get some kind of bonus. So um, some kind of incentive packages that will be tied to metrics and performance of students. So uh, teachers could also maybe become beneficiaries of short courses. They have short summer courses. Columbia University in New York can sponsor um, high-performing teachers to go. Uh, take some courses. Um, Columbia has a good, a good um, teacher uh, a, a program, teacher's program. That, so these are some of the things, um, looking at my uh, stay in the United States, that we can bring to bear and uh, make sure that the teachers bring in that software aspect to complement the hardware and make Presec um, a, a top performing school. In, in Akan, uh, there's a, a, a tree, there's an adage called Ahinepa in Kasa, meaning that if you are successful, let your success make the noise. So there's, there's uh, another interpretation is uh, work hard in silence and, and let the success make the noise. And that is what I look at as in the light we shall see light. We are quiet, studying and not making a lot of noise. And even when we are successful, we don't shout our success. So in the light, we shall see light, work hard in silence and let success make the noise. That is 
what um, I take as the words from our anthem, and that's how we live. We live by we live by those words. I have three daughters, um, uh, and our first one is a medical doctor, a primary care doctor, uh, Regina. She's also married to. Uh, another primary care physician. So my son-in-law, Regina's husband, is also a medical doctor. They practice medicine in uh, Georgia, Columbus, Georgia, uh, United States. They were all born in the U.S., the kids. My second girl, second daughter, Jennifer, um, she's a Harvard graduate. She's also a, a doctor, an OBGYN, obstetrician, gynecologist. She's actually finishing her residency in June of this year, so she'll be qualified as a full uh, board certified uh, gynecologist um, and then my third girl is um, uh, Stephanie she is a very creative um, uh, a media uh, marketing specialist and manager uh, very very creative so she didn't get into the science but um, she's also doing her own thing in a very successful way she's also married um, to um, an infancy old boy and uh, my son-in-law who I love dearly um, so yeah, that's my family and um, I'm very proud of them and I think the ultimate validation of success for all of us is our children. So you can be the most successful person but if you, you were not successful in raising the next generation then your success is kind of specious. So I think uh, my success in my kids is the ultimate validation of um, what I've been able to do as a father the sixth win of the National Science and Math Quiz, which has solidified Presec as the ultimate um, best school, um, not just in the science, but the best school in, in all, in Ghana. So we're very proud uh, to be your daddy yes, and um, um, th th that's the story. Uh, so right now, Presec in North America and in Canada, we are on the landscape. We are doing things, we're visible, we're vibrant and all because of a little idea and vision that I had that has um, blossomed and uh, materialized. Uh, so just to end, um, I'll say Presec has made all of us who we are. Um, we're very, very proud of that, yes. Um, we live our motto, we live our values, and um, we're humble, but we're very solid and very accomplished, and um, we're making a contribution to our nation and church. God bless and go pre-sec.